Hi, this is Steve Caliper. Thank you so much for being a part of our Doing Good Better University. Um, now that we've gotten through 4th of July and um, the holiday week, um, I just wanted to encourage each of you as you're looking at summer. Um, certainly we know that uh, in some parts of the country, summer already began in June, uh, but really for the most part, um, I think of summer as July and August. And this is truly a remarkable time and a season to connect with people uh, on a friendly level, a very highly relational level. Um, let's put it this way. Um, let this be the earmark for a summer relationship campaign. By doing so, um, be thinking about creating uh, environments uh, to, to create um, an, an experience, uh, something that's shared, uh, that you can connect with a donor on a relational level. Um, it, it can be um, something that relates to your organization or your ministry, uh, but during the summer relationship campaign, be thinking about how in building relationships with either current supporters or lapsed, and we're going to get into a couple of tactics uh, about uh, both of those um, aspects, as well as your board. Um, I believe that this is a phenomenal opportunity to proactively engage your board and bring them along the process and inside the process with you to connect with uh, LAPS donors especially, as well as to meet uh, new potential uh, folks to support your organization. Um, but creating a, um, a shared um, experience um, during the summer, it can be um, a horseback riding, it could be river rafting, it could be um, an afternoon at, at the lake, um, it could be uh, going to a baseball game, um, Little League, um, it, there's a lot of things that you could do, um, picnics and so forth. Let it be something that you can do just to build rapport, build relationships, just connect with people. Um, and, and, I, and I do believe that the result of being able to have a basis um, in, in your relationship I think is going to pay dividends, uh, not just short term but also long-term. Um, meet donors where they are. Certainly we know that when you're creating passion and connectivity, um, as we've shared in the past, looking at um, aligning clarity of who you are, what you do, with confidence to where you're going, undergirded with the, um, your message of why. Um, when, when you align all of those pieces, as we've shared over and over and over, um, meeting a donor where they're at with passion, with enthusiasm is important. But in doing life, um, in these experiences and having something of memory that you can anchor a relationship element to, uh, meet donors where they're at. Uh, for example, if they love going to uh, a baseball game, um, join them. Go, go to a concert. Uh, if they're a foodie, um, do meals. Um, invite them over to your home or meet them and go to their home. So anyway, I just wanted to give you kind of a portfolio of different things that you can uh, anchor in on. Um, the board your board. Um, as I've done some philanthropy workshops um, over these last couple of months in Dallas, Houston, I'll be in Charlotte tomorrow. Um, one question that always comes up is how to leverage and um, establish a connectivity, um, not just with your board, but through your board. Um, here's two things. Uh, the two things that I think the board during the course of summer can be extremely helpful in helping advance your mission um, as well as to connect with folks. Um, the one thing is very simple. It takes time, but it's a pretty straightforward thing. Take a look at donors that gave in the previous calendar year, in this case, donors that gave in 2017, who have yet to give in 2018. Um, create a, a specific week where your board can make calls to people that are not yet lapsed, but uh, haven't given yet this calendar year. And you can even add into um, the mix, if you if you care to, what we call on our team is um, a donor conference call, much like a shareholder call. Um, that can be an offering that your board, through their calling to LAPS donors, can offer to join a specific call for 30 minutes to get an update, much like a quick shareholder update. So as board members make calls to your potentially lapsed uh, supporters, weave that in as an offering. I think that can be a great value add. Um, the other aspect with your board is um, not necessarily just luncheons and gatherings and teeing up things for the fall as far as banquets, but um, if each of your board members, let's say on an average of um, an, an organization, you have 10 board members on average, um, if each board member included you minimum of once, 
to some type of a social gathering as the head of your organization uh, to that gathering, and they had six, eight, ten couples there. Uh, through the course of the summer, that would be ten gatherings. Certainly, it would be a fun, festive uh, summer. Uh, but on the outset, you could potentially meet. The calculations are pretty straightforward. Um, maybe 40, 50, 60 couples through the course of the summer. So if every board member, 10 average, were to invite you to a gathering, even if the gathering's with three or four other couples, go to a concert or dinner, if they just included you as a part of um, that function or that activity, uh, you can get to know um, a great list of some folks just relationally and connecting socially during the course of the summer as a connection point. But it doesn't just happen. It has to happen intentionally. And, um, and so um, I just want to encourage you to be taking a look at um, how to leverage and work with your board uh, to connect with um, new folks just in a relational way, um, leveraging your board and working with your board to reach out to folks that um, gave in 2017, haven't yet given in 2018, and let that be very intentional and very tactical. And, um, and then, as I mentioned, to, to weave into um, maybe it be late July, early August, or maybe twice. Uh, offer it as a shareholder update uh, mid-year. You know, we're uh, halfway through the calendar year. We want to give you an update and a report to what's happened year to date. Um, also, you can use the time of that, uh, call it donor call or relational call, to give um, um, an update and share. These are the plans for the rest of 2018, as well as some activity during the fall, whether it be locally or around the country. So there's a couple of very practical, hands-on ways that you can be intentional. Um, use the 60-day window as the basis of your summer relationship campaign. Um, you yourself um, certainly don't hesitate to pursue and to connect with lapsed donors. Um, you yourself, um, I would encourage you to take a look at what are you doing um, to connect with a certain quantity or number of potential new folks, whether it be 20 or 30. Have a goal. And uh, ultimately, it's to spend time to connect with current donors that love and support your organization as well as you, that you enjoy spending time with. Meet them where they're at. Um, spend time together. Uh, don't let it be about the organization. If, however, they bring it up and they ask questions, certainly give them an update because that's their connection point. Just like you're asking them about family and work, they're going to ask you about family and your ministry. Uh, so be open to um, how that plays out. So. Um, we're going to do a quick series of, um, of some touch points this summer as we really launch uh, into uh, summer 2018. Uh, so this is the official first week after the 4th of July holiday. Let's hit it running. Um, be in touch with us. If you have any questions, reach out, send an email. Love to set up a personal call with you. Uh, if you have uh, any questions or would like to dive a little deeper, we want to be available to you. Um, before the end of July, we're going to come back with another um, summer teaching session. But certainly, um, on behalf of uh, Doing Good Better in the University, thank you for being a part of this journey. Uh, remember that it's simple communications touch points um, through e-letters, e e-communication, e social media, and so forth. Uh, keep summer simple. Uh, keep the touch points frequent, uh, but not too in-depth. You want to make sure that you're giving just enough to keep engaged. People are busy. They're flying through emails. So uh, because of a lot of people taking time off and traveling, um, say less, increase the frequency in your communications and your social media uh, because you're going to miss windows where normally uh, people would read and potentially connect with uh, your communication. So um, just uh, as a little add on there to uh, make sure that you're, you're, you're thinking about here in July and August. Uh, but to recap, um, be intentional through your board um, with folks that you want to connect with relationally, encourage them, challenge them, uh, meet uh, donors where they're at, uh, spend time socially, a whole portfolio of things uh, that you could be doing together from uh, baseball games to concerts, music on the lawns, um, a food truck deal, um, Sunday afternoon pool, um, you know, all the things that go with summer. But make summer and relationships fun, connect with people, and um, certainly your board, uh, to recap again, and to share is that if your board, 10 board members on average, if they were to invite you to a social function and you could get to get, get to know four or six other couples or if it was some type of other event, boy, boy, the, the, be, before the end of the summer, you could get to, to know potentially 40 or 50 uh, new couples that could really help harness you in your relational efforts 
through the fall. And that would be a great way uh, for your board to, to be involved. So again, on behalf of um, Doing Good Better and the university, thank you for being a part of this journey. Uh, reach out to us if there's anything we can do for you. Um, have a great day. God bless. And thanks so much for all that you're doing to uh, make an advance on the kingdom uh, or in the ministry space of uh, whatever it is that you do. And um, thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day.